Alright guys, I wanted to do a video for the TBS show King of the Nerds. And I don't know how many of you guys watch this show, but I thought it was really good. And there was a lot of great things about the show. In fact, as I got deeper into the show, I wished I was doing reviews on every episode because there was a lot of stuff to say. Um, but I, I just had way too much stuff going on. I, I didn't have time to do more videos on top of what I was already doing. So um, I'm going to do my best to try and do a review of the entire season. Um, I like the host to start off with. Booger and I can't remember the other guy from Revenge of the Nerds. They are the perfect duo to host this show. I mean they were awesome. I could not imagine anybody else doing a better job than these two. Just phenomenal. Um, it was so cool to see them doing another show and it was just it really added a lot to it. Um, everything they did including the way they would eliminate contestants and then make a little joke and then press a button and some CGI explosion would happen. I enjoyed all of that. Um, they really didn't insult anything. They had the comic book competitions and then they would do a video game competition, science, and everything. I mean, they encompassed every nerdy thing in the show. And I thought they did a great job with it. Um, even there was a challenge where they had to roll these giant, I think, six sided dice down a hill and knock over knights and I just I really liked how creative the challenges were the nerd offs and it was your typical reality show but it definitely had an extra little spin on it and I know they're already making a season two so I'm looking forward to that because I really did enjoy this season it's a great show if you can find the episodes watch it from the beginning um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it but I'm trying to think of there's a few characters I liked I liked Virgil at first I thought it was really annoying but then he became like my favorite character for some reason I don't know how it happened I guess I just liked the way he went about the game um, Genevieve was awesome she definitely should have won this entire show but they gave it to Celeste for some insane reason um, I guess I should go ahead and talk about that. So, Celeste wins the game. And she gets to sit on the throne of games. And she's the king of the nerds. Now, I think Genevieve should have won. And here's why. Genevieve went into three nerd-offs. She was basically the leader of the Blextrophy team. And kicked ass the entire game. However, at the end, because of a two-minute speech Celeste gave, the other nerds voted for her. Some of them were smart, like Ivan and... Ah, uh, what's that other guy's name? Kendrick, I think. Mujigay. The actual intelligent nerds <laughs> voted for Genevieve. Because this is a competition. And the other nerds, like Alana, my god, that chick's annoying... They voted for Celeste because she can do a lot for nerds everywhere. She can be a good ambassador. And Virgil even said that uh, when he was a kid, Celeste's speech would have really spoken to him about how you're not alone being a nerd. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's a game, man. She's not going anywhere. She's not an ambassador for crap. She won $100,000 on a reality show. That's it. You might see Celeste again in season two. But still, that is it. She's not going anywhere. She's not some ambassador for nerds. This is all a bunch of crap, man. Genevieve played the game better. She worked her ass off. She should have won the game. She deserved that money. Celeste went to zero nerd-offs. She didn't deserve it. Plain and simple. That's just my opinion, but that's how I feel about it. Uh, anything else to say about this show? There were some bitter-ass people. Some sore losers on this show some of these nerds when something would happen to them they couldn't take it like Danielle for instance she would talk a lot of crap but if something happened to her she'd be the first one to cry about it 
It should have been me. It should have been me. And I think there was one instance where she called Genevieve immature. When you have pink hair, for God's sake. Give me a break, man. So I thought she was incredibly annoying. I would put her at the top, followed by Alana. Alana wasn't even as annoying as Danielle. She was just really arrogant, bitter about everything, a sore loser, and just did not want to get along with anybody. And she thought she deserved to be king of the nerds because she plays fucking World of Warcraft. Just, oh my god, she was a total biatch this entire show. And then you have Ivan, who I really liked. And... <laughs> But I have to say, as soon as somebody tried to put him in a nerd off, he lost it. He lost his cool. He was always calm. He had a natural charisma about him. But as soon as he got sent in the nerd off, he lost it, man. He lost his cool. He went up to Virgil and said, you realize what you've done? You've brought down the, the wrath of the dragon. <laughs> this guy was serious when he said this. He said, you brought down the wrath of the dragon um, you're going to regret it. I will rise from the ashes. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just, I, I lost a lot of respect for him after that because he just, he got, he got butthurt about the entire thing and just completely did a 180 and acted like someone who was afraid of the game instead of someone who was confident. Um, so that really hurt Ivan in my opinion and he got eliminated during the I can't remember the name of those things. It's the thing you ride, you like pull the thing and you stand on it and you ride it around. Uh, I think George Bush fell off of one of them. I can't remember the name of these things, but he had to ride one of those in the maze challenge when it was down to the final four and he kept busting his ass. Uh, but yeah, he was still, he was still, despite all of that, one of my favorite characters just because he was really entertaining and he does have a natural charisma to him. Um, who else was on the show? Uh, the John guy, I think his name was John, or Joshua, who kept spinning the swords. That guy just tried way too hard. Um, some other characters. Mujige, I thought had a lot of... She didn't really express herself. She had some great opinions about the show and the other contestants, but when she was around the other contestants, she wouldn't say anything. Like when she felt Genevieve deserved to win, and Danielle said, I, I just can't vote for her. I just can't do it. And Mujige didn't say anything back. I mean, she should have called her out on her bullshit and said, well, Genevieve deserves to be here. She worked her ass off. She just kind of sat there, and I, I thought she should have been a little bit more open and expressed herself more instead of being so passive. Um, who else? Ah. Uh, I can't really think of any other characters that stood out to me. Um, but yeah, I like Celeste. She wasn't a bad player or anything. I just felt Genevieve deserved it more. I don't see how anybody could argue that she didn't. And as soon as it came down to the other nerds voting, I, I knew it was going to go this way. I just knew it. And I didn't expect Virgil to be the one to vote for Celeste. I really thought he would have voted for Genevieve since they were so close. but. Um, it was a surprising ending, a very good show, very entertaining, cannot wait for season two. Um, so like I said, if you can find the episodes, definitely check out The King of the Nerds. And that's my review of this show. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on the show in the comments, and thanks for watching.